8.3 Proving Triangle Similarity by SSS and SAS. In addition to using congruent corresponding angles to show that two triangles are similar, you can use proportional corresponding side lengths. Side 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 similarity theorem. If the corresponding side lengths of two triangle are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So if AB is proportional to RS, not congruent, proportional, BC is proportional to ST, and CA is proportional to TR, then the two triangles are similar. So let's try this on. Example one, is either triangle DEF or GHJ similar to ABC? So we're gonna compare to ABC, this larger triangle on the left. So first let's do triangle ABC and DEF. So we're testing to see if these um, fractions are equal. So let's do um, eight compared to six. And then you reduce the fraction. So eight and half, six and half, so four thirds. Let's compare the next side lengths to each other. Let's compare 16 to 12. Eight is to six. And then again, four is to three. So, so far so good. And then the last two side lengths, 12 compared to nine. 12 and a half, well, they both divide by three. So that's gonna be four thirds. So because all of these ratios match, ABC is similar to DEF. All right, let's try ABC and um, GHJ. So we're comparing this first triangle to this third triangle. So let's do eight compared to eight is one. Let's do 16 compared to 16, which is another one. But we can see that the last one, 12 compared to 10, is 6 fifths. So because this ratio is not 1, then triangle ABC is not similar to triangle GHJ. All right, example number two. Find the value of x that makes triangle ABC similar to DEF, not congruent, because clearly these are not the same size. They are not congruent to each other. We want to make them proportional. So we're going to set up a proportion to help us solve for x. There are many different ways you can set these proportions up. This is just an example of one way that you can set this proportion up. There are multiple ways. So I'm not going to work with the three times X minus one just because that, that expression is kind of um, hard to work with. So let's work with just the X minus one and let's compare that to 18. So X minus one is compared to 18 and then you just choose uh, two other sides that are friendly. Four is to 12. So this is going to help me make proportional side lengths. We're gonna cross multiply. So when I cross multiply the X and the 12 minus uh, X minus one, the 12 becomes a multiplier to the X minus one. It goes to each piece. And then four times 18 is 72. So now the 12 distributes to each piece, 12 X minus 12 equals 72 plus 12, 12x equals 84, divide by 12, and x equals 7. So the value of x that makes these proportional is 7, and now I can, I can figure out that this side length is 3 times 7 plus 1, which is going to be 3 times 8, which is going to be 24. So this side length DE, and that makes sense that this, and then this would be 6, this side length would be 6. So four times three is 12, 
6 times 3 is 18. 8 times 3 is 24. Another method for proving that triangles are similar to each other is SAS, similarity theorem. If an angle of one triangle is congruent to an angle of a second triangle, so the angles are congruent, and the lengths of these sides, including these angles, are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So here's our picture. Um, angle X and angle M are congruent to each other. And then the side length ZX is proportional to PM. So this side length and this side length are proportional. And XY, this side length, is proportional to MN. So we can see SAS, SAS. Just like we did with the congruence theorems, but this time the side lengths have to be proportional and not congruent. So let's take a look at an example. Determine whether, triangle, whether the triangles are similar. If they are, find the scale factor from GHJ to KLM. So the first thing I notice is that angle G is congruent to angle K. So there's my angle part of the SAS part. So now I just need to know if the side lengths that are included are proportional. So let's compare 9 to 12 which is 3 fourths, and then 12 to 16, 6 eighths, or 3 fourths. Yay, so those side lengths are proportional. So yes, they are similar. Triangle GHJ is similar to triangle KLM by SAS similarity. And the scale factor is 3 fourths. Last one, you're building a lean-to shelter starting from a tree branch. This tree branch is six feet tall. As shown, can you construct the right end so that it's similar to the left using the angle measure and links below? So is this length of nine going to make it similar to this length over here? So the lean to, we've got six feet by 10 feet and a nine feet by 15 feet. So we're just gonna compare those. We can see that their angles already match. So angle F is congruent to angle A. So there's my angle part. So is six to nine, which would be six to nine is gonna be two thirds. Is 6 to 9 uh, proportionate to 10 to 15? That's going to be 5 um, two-thirds. So are those proportionate? Yes. Yes, we can construct this by SAS similarity. They will be proportionate by SAS similarity. Thank you.